This video will tell you how to translate a database article from the English language to a language of your choice. The first thing you'll need to do is access the database article by going to the Fairfax County website. Then you will go to the library page. Scroll down the library page and here you want to access online databases so click on the orange button. Then you will scroll down and you can go to the database that you actually want to use. So we're going to go to page two and we're going to look at Britannica Middle School. And then you're going to scroll down and you're going to click on go to resource. Once you are in Britannica, then you can find the topic that you are learning about. So let's say you are learning about Martin Luther King Jr. in your history class. So you're going to type in your title, click on the article. Once you are here at the article, you will see that all of the information is in the English language. But if you read better in a different language, you're going to click on the world button, and this is for translate. You're going to then click on the drop down menu and select the language that you would rather read this in. So today I'm going to choose Spanish and then what it will do, and then you click a little X, and what it will do is it will change the language into Spanish, so that way you could read the article in Spanish. Other databases look a little bit different, so if you are in World Book, so I'm going to type World Book up here, I'm going to choose the World Book article that I want. Now if you are not at school, you have to type in a login. So the login for World Book is Fairfax, all lowercase, and the password is Fairfax. Then you're going to sign in. So I'm going to go to World Book Student. I'm going to type in my article, and let's say I want to learn about the Washington Monument. So I click on the article. So here, I don't see the world up here, but I do see that it's all in English. So to access the different languages, you're going to click on this wheel and it's going to give you a variety of choices of what you can do with it. But I want to translate it, so you click on translate, then select a language, then you can scroll down and you can read it in a different language. So let's say this time I want to read it in Persian. Doesn't have Persian. Oh, there it goes. So, and then there it would translate. So to go back, you would then go back to translate, select a language, English. Go back to the wheel, translate, select a language, Spanish. Okay, and it takes a minute and there it will translate it into the Spanish language for you. So you'll want to either look for this little tool for the wheel or you'll want to look for the earth button for translate. As always, if you have any questions about how to access these resources and translate them, please send an email to Ms. Sands or Ms. Cannell or ask us the next time you're in the library.